Hi everyone, welcome back into the specialized automations. I am Aditya and today in this video I will be discussing about 10 useful JavaScript commands in Selenium web driver. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, why we need JavaScript? So as you already about that, it's a scripting language that we can explicitly invoke uh, inside our client browser to interact with HTML DOM. So sometimes uh, during your automation stage, it may happen that you are not able to interact with the, some element, you are not able to find some element, a click operation is not uh, in the, not done. Okay. Uh, so all these kind of things you can uh, easily get by using the JavaScript function. Okay, things need to remember, guys. The JavaScript is always synchronous and it always single threaded. So sometimes it may happen that for Ajax call it appears to be asynchronous, but the callback mechanism operating at that time will be always synchronous. Okay, so it is always synchronous and single threaded. And how there are two ways you can implement JavaScript in Selenium. <coughs> First of all is uh, executor.execute script and executor.execute asynchronous script. Okay, the first way that I already written that uh, if you do it like this, like JavaScript executor.js, uh, you are calling the driver interfaces, and then js.execute script script argument you are passing this way, so it will execute only in the current selected frame or window. Okay, until the script execute, it won't proceed to the next step. But the same thing uh, is different for execute asynchronous script. Uh, it's uh, quite faster than the execute script. Uh, so it won't wait for the current frame to con uh, complete rather uh, when it's javascript takes some time to execute that in basically uh, saying an example in case of web service call okay then this function invoked with the uh, execute assistance corner keep basically you can uh, tell me that you can say like that this is uh, going asynchronous way right but not not no actually when you're calling execute assistance corner keep is is uh, done is callback mechanism at the last uh, argument okay which is the synchronous so in the end javascript is always synchronous okay so javascript executor dot execute asynchronous script then we need to pass the script and argument basically we will be needing it to make our execution faster and basically for when we will be doing operation in uh, web service call all this kind of things okay for a simple web based application in automations javascript executor dot execute, execute script will be fine okay now let's get c uh one example so i have uh, already provided uh, lots uh, mm, uh, 10 important javascript command that will be useful for our web based automation so for that i'm going to do operate in this make my web page okay so what i'm going to do um i'm going to get the i'm going to navigate into the web page using the javascript i'm going to refresh the web page using javascript i'm going to fetch web element of this page using javascript I'm going to scroll up to the find the web element. Then I'm going to click on the particular web element. I'm going to get the HTML, the inner HTML of these things. All this through the JavaScript. Okay. So by setup class is very simple. The Firefox from browser test when I started. Firefox I'm using and my TR done class is very simple also. That uh, same with closing and quitting. Now this has come to my uh, test class. So what I'm doing? So first of all, I'm navigating to the MMT site, make my trip site. So I need to pass one script here, like string script window dot location is called. We need to pass the URL. So URL I be using a parameter as format. So parameter string URL is given this way. Okay, you can just copy paste the same. Okay, so string script window dot location is called for the URL, and then JavaScript is your JS I have called JavaScript executor the driver. Then JS dot execute script. This script will get executed over here. Okay, so it's navigating to the particular website. And then it will wait for the five second. I've given a five second thread slip. Okay. Now next, uh, if you want to get the inner HTML of a page, you can also get the things like that uh, inner text or inner HTML. So the string contain all the details. So JavaScript doesn't want to execute script, return document, the document element dot inner HTML dot to string, and you can just print that. So for my case, I will just uh, this comment it out because it will be huge uh, HTML. Okay. All, all the all the HTML uh, inner HTML will get printed to my console. I will show you show you this later. And the next thing I am refreshing using the JavaScript. So for this we need this command JavaScript script history go. Okay. So it will basically refresh my JavaScript window. And next I am fetching the title. So title command is string s text. So how do you can fetch the title? So JavaScript js dot execute script return document title dot two string so it will contain the title of the web page that i'm navigating okay 
now if we want to fetch elements so i have seen earlier that how you can fetch element using the driver dot find element by id find element by x path different different way right so let's we can also have the same like we can really fetch the element using javascript also so for that like web element search button okay search button make my trip search button i am fetching this web element this is um, taken so javascript dot execute script return document dot get element by id id name passing here search button and below line i am also printing so that uh, if it is successfully fetched or not so the class name for this button you will also print the uh, search button class name okay so this is how we can also fetch the web element from web page and we can also fetch the total frames available in the particular web page but um, remember this is only works for internet explorer not for mozilla or firefox or chrome okay so you can also get that how many frames are there uh, if you are doing operations automation in internet explorer you can get the script done uh, like frames equal javascript js dot execute script documented frames to clean the testing okay then if you want to scroll down to some coordinates you know to pass x y coordinates over here like you can just simply write js dot execute script and window dot scroll by to this particular coordinate it will be scrolled down to this uh, coordinate and if you want to scroll down to some particular element okay like for my case i have scrolled down to the footer sections to click on to get the followers link okay so you can just simply write that javascript dot execute script argument zero new to pass the scroll into view so it will scroll until the until and unless the element got in uh, get into the page view okay scroll into view true then you need to pass the element whatever the element uh, element i have chosen here driver dot find element id okay this is the uh, javascript command to use highlighting the element highlighting the element you need to pass the argument then element then uh, attributes so first javascript dot execute script this is the argument i am passing okay set attribute style or style argument one then the element element is uh, whatever the element this element already have taken full was so this is, this element will get highlighted now i am passing the attribute attribute like it will be background will be yellow uh, and the border will be dotted color uh, red colors okay i am also printing the element that get text so it will highlight and also print the element that get text now clicking on a element so suppose you want to click on a element so you can also have it using the javascript like so for that we need to pass command like javascript dot execute script argument zero dot click okay and we need to pass in the element so the structure is basically argument comma element okay so argument it's click operation doing and sometimes it may happen that clicking on a particular link it's navigating to the uh, it's opening in the new tab so if you open the link in the same tab itself so you need to also you need to include this way javascript execute script argument zero so you are explicitly setting the attribute like target cell target cell means uh, if you click on that particular the target cell means it will open in the uh, same tab okay not it will not navigate to the new tab so if you set the attribute this way so click on this particular link it will open in the same tab then you need to click that element dot click okay so we need to pass it from here if you open if you try to open a link or uh, open yeah open a link in the same um, tab itself or same page itself okay and you can also have uh, your um, alert box confirm box prompt um, prompt uh, options in your web page okay like for alert enter your physical credentials prompt from you enter your physical credentials and prompt enter your domain enter domain so all this kind of pop-up alert and confirm box you also can get so let's run this program we will see for this uh, let me just uh, maximize this window driver dot Maybe here. Sorry. Okay, so let's run this program. So throughout this uh, test kit, I already uh, I only have used JavaScript. So it will launch my Firefox browser. Let's open for open for a moment. Okay, now it's navigating to the website using JavaScript. Uh, after five seconds, it will refresh the page. First, let me uh, let it load properly. Now it is refreshing. See, now it is refreshing. Now it will face the search element. So search element successfully fetch, I guess. And it is called down to the coordinates. Okay, scroll down. Now it is called down to the particular followers, highlighting these options. 
I click on the Twitter button. So it's navigating the Twitter page in the same page itself. Uh, now it will close our browser. Give it some time. Okay, so my test has successfully completed. Mm, yeah, successfully completed, and let's see the console window. So first is navigating to the MMT page, then refreshing the page page refreshed, fetching the title, make my trip, all the title successfully fetched using JavaScript. The fetching element is in JavaScript. The class name, the, the search button is successfully fetched button, but primary button main search. Okay. This is the one I'm talking about. This is the one, okay. That search button is facing successfully search button, okay. It's printing the class name attribute also. Now it's navigating the below coordinates. I have seen that in navigating the below coordinates. Now it's navigating to the followers, like uh, let's show you. Uh, now it's scrolling down, scrolling down to the particular element like followers. Now it's highlighting the element we have seen. It's highlighted with the yellow with the red, red red dotted mark. And now it's click on the Twitter, click on the Twitter button, and it's navigated to the Twitter successfully. And then this one will start. So okay, so guys, so as of now, so far we have seen how we can how we can get the navigate to the window using JavaScript. How you can refresh a page. How you can fetch uh, page title using JavaScript. How you can fetch web element using JavaScript. I can scroll using coordinates or using providing the exactly which element I want to scroll. Mm, then we can also highlight uh, element using JavaScript and we can also click on a particular element using JavaScript. And we can open it in a new tab in the diff or in a different tab. Then we can also have the JavaScript functions for enabling alert pop up or prompt to pop up message. Okay, we can get the total frames in case of Internet Explorer by this way. And you can also get the inner HTML of a page also this way, okay? So that's basically main 10 uses of JavaScript in Selenium, uh, which will be very helpful in your case, I guess. Uh, so that's all for today, guys. If you have any questions, please don't let me know in the below comment sections. And if you like this video, please do not forget to support and subscribe this. So have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching this video.